Welcome to our lecture online. Our next rule is kind of the opposite of what we saw in the previous rule. Here it says that we have 1 over x to the negative power that's equal to x to the positive power. With other words, if a number is raised to a negative exponent and the number is in the denominator, like this one is right here, then move the number to the numerator and make the exponent positive. That's all we did. We have 1 over x to the minus n power. The number is in the denominator. It has a negative exponent. We can move the number to the numerator and turn the exponent, exponent positive. A few simple examples. 1 over x to the negative 3 is equal to x to the third. 1 over 5 to the negative 2 is equal to 5 to the second power, which of course is 25. Or 1 over 3 to the negative 4 power is 3 to the positive 4 power, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81. Now, if that is true, then the following must be true as well. If we have 1 over x to the positive exponent, we can move that number to the numerator and turn the exponent negative. We simply change the sign of the exponent by moving the number to the top or moving the number to the bottom. So, in other words, if we have x to the second power, that is equal to 1 over x to the negative 2 power. If we have x to the negative 2, that is equal to 1 over x to the positive 2. And vice versa, 1 over x to the negative 2 is equal to x to the second power, or 1 over x to the second power is equal to x to the negative 2 power. Simply said, whenever we move a number from the numerator to the denominator, or from the denominator to the numerator, and it has an exponent, we simply change the sign of the exponent, which is basically rule number 4 and rule number 5 combined. And that, if you remember that, then it makes rule 4 and 5 really easy to work with. And that is how it's done.